Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Expansion of substance. See, you consider any substance. I am going to give heat energy to the substance. What will happen? There will be a change in the dimension of the body. See, you can see the changes in the substance in the sense the dimension of the substance will change because of the heat energy that we are applying to the substance. This expansion of the substance because of the heat, because of the rise in temperature, then it is said to be thermal expansion. When heat energy is supplied to the body, there will be increase in the dimension. This change in dimension due to the rise in temperature, then this is known as thermal expansion. See, in all form of the matter, that is in solid, liquid and gas, they all will undergo thermal expansion, which we are going to discuss now. Last session we have discussed about uh, effect of heat energy, right? In that we have discussed three points. I will tell you shortly to recollect. First, temperature rises and the second point changes in its state and the third, expansion of the substance, right? Under that expansion of the substance, first we are going to discuss how expansion takes place in solids, right? See, when a solid substance is heated, the atoms in the substance will gain. So, when atoms started gaining the energy, it, the atoms will vibrate more vigorously. It will lead to the expansion of the solid. This results in the expansion of solid, right? There are different types of expansion in solids which are classified as linear expansion, superficial expansion and cubical expansion. Now we are going to see one by one. Now we are going to discuss what is linear expansion. In expansion in solid, the first type is linear expansion. See, when a body is heated or cooled, the length of the body changes. I am considering one solid rod. I am going to give some temperature to this solid rod. After I am apply, applying the temperature, the solid rod will expand. That expansion here, I am considering it as a delta L. Before heating, the length of the rod is L0, which is nothing but original length of the rod. After applying the temperature, the rod expands. That expansion I am considering as delta L. So, linear expansion is nothing but that if the length of the rod is changing due to the temperature, then it is said to be linear expansion. We have a formula for the linear expansion. See, this is said to be, delta L is said to be the change in length. It is proportional to the original length of the solid in the sense, if the initial length is more, the linear expansion is more. If initial length is less, the linear expansion will be less. So, both are proportional to each other. And the linear expansion is also proportional to the change in temperature. See, if the temperature is more, the linear expansion will be more. If temperature is less, obviously, the linear expansion will be less. So, both are proportional to each other. I am considering it as equation number 1 and the second equation as equation number 2. Okay, now I am going to combine both the equations. Left hand side are equal, so right hand side also should be equal. So, delta L is proportional to both initial length as well as the change in temperature. I am bringing the, okay, now to remove the proportionality symbol, what we have to do? We have to include is equal to one constant. Here, I am taking alpha L as a constant. This alpha L is said to be coefficient of linear expansion. I will explain you now what is the coefficient of linear expansion. Okay. What is the remaining thing left out here? L naught delta T. Right. I am bringing the L naught this sign. So, delta L by L naught is equal to alpha L delta T. See, this is the formula for the linear expansion. 
Delta L is the changes in the length of the rod. L or initial length of the rod. Alpha L coefficient of linear expansion. Delta T is nothing but change in the temperature. See, this is the formula for the linear expansion. For your clarification, I have returned the abbreviation for all. Delta L is nothing but change in length. L not initial length. Alpha L is the coefficient of linear expansion. I will explain you what is the coefficient of linear expansion. See, the ratio of increase in length. I will write here. Increase in length per degree is it to be coefficient of linear expansion i hope you understood now increase in length per degree is said to be coefficient of linear expansion and delta t is nothing but change in temperature now we are going to see the next type superficial expansion second expansion is superficial expansion if there is an increase in the area of the solid i have considered one solid object here before applying the temperature to it, the area of the solid is A0. After heating, the area of the solid is increasing. That I am considering it as a delta A. If the area is expanding because of heating, then such an expansion is said to be superficial expansion. We have a formula for superficial expansion. See, Change in area is proportional to the initial area, right? If area is more, the change in area also will be more. If it is less, then the delta A also will be less. Both are proportional to each other. As well as delta A is proportional to the change in temperature. As I said for linear expansion, if temperature is more, here the expansion in area also will be more so both are proportional to each other again i am going to combine both the equation delta a is proportional to both original area as well as the change in temperature to remove proportionality symbol what we will do we have to include is equal to one constant here i am taking alpha a as a constant a naught delta t this alpha a is nothing but coefficient right so delta a a naught i am bringing this side by a naught is equal to alpha a into delta t so here alpha a is nothing but coefficient of superficial expansion right so what is coefficient of superficial expansion Increase in area per degree rise in temperature is said to be coefficient of superficial expansion. Now we are going to see what is cubical expansion. So the last expansion is cubical expansion. Very easy. If the volume of the solid is increased because of the rise in temperature, if volume increases then it is said to be cubical expansion. Again, we have a formula for the cubical expansion. Delta V by V0 is equal to alpha V into delta T. Where, whereas, you know what is delta V? Change in the volume by original volume is equal to. This is coefficient of cubical expansion. And delta T is nothing but change in temperature. Here, I have considered in solid. After heating, the volume of the solid changes. That change, I am taking it as delta V. You know how to derive, right? I will explain you what is coefficient of cubical volume now, okay? Okay, alpha V is nothing but coefficient of cubical expansion, right? So, what is coefficient of cubical expansion? Increase in volume per degree rise in temperature is said to be coefficient of cubical expansion. To make you to understand more easier, I have written all the three expansion in tabular column. I hope it will be easy for your understanding. See, as I said, there are three types of expansion in solid. Linear expansion, superficial expansion, cubical expansion. If length of the body changes due to the rise in temperature, then it is said to be linear expansion. If there is an increase in area due to the rise in temperature, then it is said to be superficial expansion. If there is an increase in volume due to the rise in temperature, then it is said to be cubical expansion. 
we have already derived the formula for all the three expansion delta l by l naught is equal to alpha l into delta t where here alpha l is nothing but coefficient of linear expansion right so coefficient what is said to be coefficient of linear expansion increase in length per degree rise in temperature of its unit length then it is said to be coefficient of linear expansion the same for superficial expansion the formula is delta a by a naught is equal to alpha a into delta t what is alpha a coefficient of superficial expansion see what is coefficient of superficial expansion increase in area per degree rise in temperature of its unit area then it is said to be coefficient of superficial expansion then third expansion is cubical expansion and the formula is delta v by v naught is equal to alpha v into delta t what is alpha v here it is said to be coefficient of cubical expansion what is coefficient of cubical expansion increase in volume of the body per degree rise in temperature of its unit volume then it is said to be coefficient of cubical expansion these are all the three types of expansion in solid i hope now it is clear